Today, I'm going to read Who Would Win the Ultimate Dinosaur Rumble by Jerry Palata. All right, here's a sneak peek at the 16 dinosaur bracket. 16 dinosaurs showed up for a contest to see who is the roughest and toughest. If a dinosaur loses a fight, it is out of the contest. May the most ferocious dinosaur win. All right, this is match one, round one. The first match is a Kentrosaurus versus a Megalosaurus. In this corner, we have the Kentrosaurus. Kentrosaurus would not be easy to attack or eat. It is spiky. And in this corner, we have the Megalosaurus. The Megalosaurus was the first dinosaur to be discovered and named. Its fossilized bones were dug up in England. Name fact, Megalosaurus means big lizard. Three, two, one, fight. The Megalosaurus attacks with its toothy jaw, but the Kentrosaurus is too spiky, pointy, and bumpy. Megalosaurus puts up a good fight, but it is out of the competition. The Kentrosaurus wins. Name fact, Kentrosaurus means prickly lizard. Round one, match number two. The Ankylosaurus versus the Utah Raptor. Ankylosaurus had a large, solid bump on the end of its tail. Its skin was heavily armored. Name fact, the word saurus means lizard. Ankylosaurus means fused lizard. The Utah Raptor stars in the film Jurassic World. This movie star dinosaur was about 23 feet long, but only 8 feet tall. That is about as tall as two first graders. Fun fact, Utah Raptor means Utah's predator. Is this a fair fight? Ankylosaurus is covered in armor. Three, two, one, fight! Utah Raptor tries to sneak up on Ankylosaurus and slice its unprotected belly. But whoosh, one swipe from the Ankylosaurus tail and Utah Raptor is not silly. Ankylosaurus moves on to the next round. Ankylosaurus wins. Did you know paleontologists now think the Utah Raptor had feathers? Well, too late because he just got knocked out. Round one, match number three. This is the Yang Chow Nosaurus versus the Toro Saurus. Yang Chow Nosaurus was discovered in China. When its remains were first discovered, people thought they were real dragon bones. Some people in other places also once believed this. Yang Chow Nosaurus was bipedal. Definition bipedal means an animal that walks on two legs. Torosaurus had the largest skull of any animal that ever lived on land. Its skull was as big as an elephant. Name fact, Torosaurus means perforated lizard. Definition, perforated means having holes. Torosaurus had holes in its shield-like skull. Frill fact, the back of a Torosaurus's skull is called its frill. Three, two, one, fight. After dodging Torosaurus' sharp horns, Yangchanosaurus bites its leg and slows down Torosaurus. The limping Torosaurus is done for. In this fight, the meat eater defeats the plant eater. The biped beats the quadruped. The Yangchanosaurus wins. Name fact. This dinosaur's name means lizard found in the town of Yangchao. Definition. A quadruped is an animal that walks on four legs. We're still in round one. This is match number four. Supersaurus versus the Micropachycephalosaurus. What? Not fair. Who matched these two together? Supersaurus is fighting Micropachycephalosaurus. Supersaurus was a giant plant-eating sauropod. Definition, sauropod dinosaurs had long necks, small brains, long tails, and walked on all four thick legs. The Micropachycephalosaurus is one of the longest names of any dinosaur. No kidding. 
It's a long name, but it was a tiny dinosaur. It was only as big as a goose. Its name means small, thick-headed lizard. Head fat. No one knows why the micro Pachycephalosaurus had such a thick skull. Three, two, one, fight! The Supersaurus steps on the micro Pachycephalosaurus. Oh no, squished. The Supersaurus wins. Big fact. Sauropods were the largest land animal ever. The Supersaurus moves on to the second round. Round one, match number five. Giganotosaurus versus Stegosaurus. The Giganotosaurus had a huge jaw full of sharp teeth. Its jaw was six feet long. Giganotosaurus is considered the largest meat-eating dinosaur. You would not want to fight it. It walked and hunted on two legs. What's in a name? Giganotosaurus means giant lizard of the south. Definition. Two-legged dinosaurs are called theropods. Theropod means beast foot. Theropods walk like birds. This dinosaur is easy to recognize. It had plates on its back and a spiked tail. Name fact. Stegosaurus means roof lizard. Mystery. Did Stegosaurus have matching plates or alternating plates on its back? Got me. Three, two, one, fight. It is no fun fighting Stegosaurus plates and spiked tail, but Giganotosaurus' powerful jaw overpowers the slow Stegosaurus. After a vicious fight, Giganotosaurus wins. Giganotosaurus wins. Brain fact. Stegosaurus had the smallest brain compared to body size of any dinosaur. His brain was only the size of a walnut. Don't be confused. A different dinosaur had a similar name. Gigantosaurus. It was a sauropod. Round one, match number six. The Tyrannotitan, Tyrannotitan versus Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannotitan lived about 100 million years ago. In real life, it would have never met a Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex, which lived at a later time. Because the Tyrannotitan lived in an earlier age, its brain was probably not as developed as a T-Rex's. Name fact, Tyrannotitan means giant lizard. Just call me T-Rex. Everyone knows this creature. It's one of the most famous dinosaurs. Go T-Rex, go T-Rex, go. Timeline, T-Rex lived about 65 million years ago. Just call me T-Rex. Three, two, one, fight. T-Rex is smarter. It runs at the Tyrannotitan and bites off an arm. What? Tyrannotitan is shocked. As it decides what to do next, T-Rex charges full speed and bites a chunk out of its neck. The fight is over. T-Rex wins. Unsolved. No one knows for sure why T-Rex had two tiny arms and only two tiny fingers. Round one, match number seven. The Styracosaurus versus Spinosaurus. Spiked lizard versus spined lizard. Horns, horns everywhere. It would hurt to bite this dinosaur's face. Styracosaurus was a herbivore. Its teeth were perfect for slicing and munching plants. Definition. Herbivore only eats plants. Fact. Little horns are called hornlets. Behold Spinosaurus! It may have been the perfect fighting dinosaur. It was fast, strong, light, and long. It had huge teeth in its jaw, and it could swim. Many dinosaur fans are rooting for Spinosaurus to win the championship. Spinosaurus could hunt on land and in water. Go Spinosaurus, go! Color fact, no one really knows what color the dinosaurs were, or if they were multicolored. Three, two, one. Fight. Spinosaurus goes head to head with Styracosaurus. Ouch! Too many sharp horns. They hurt. Styracosaurus is too slow. Shifty Spinosaurus sneaks around to the back of the Styracosaurus. Spinosaurus bites the Styracosaurus in the rear end. The Styracosaurus is bleeding. This fight is over. No surprise here. Speed beats horns. Spinosaurus wins. 
Name fact, Spinosaurus means spine lizard. Mouth fact, Styracosaurus's mouth is shaped like a beak. All right, up next is round one, match eight. It's the Allosaurus versus the Apatosaurus. Many Allosaurus fossils have been discovered around the world. One dig site alone in Utah produced 60 different Allosaurus specimens. This dinosaur ate meat and walked on two legs. Its vertebrae bones were shaped differently than other dinosaurs. We may never know if it hunted in packs or alone. Definition, vertebrae are animal's backbones. Name fact, Allosaurus means different lizard. Apatosaurus was a long, sauropod-type dinosaur with a tail like whip bull. When this huge creature walked, it must have sounded like thunder. Tricky name, Apatosaurus means deceptive lizard. It is sometimes confused with the Brontosaurus, which means thunder lizard. Three, two, one, fight! The Allosaurus runs, opens its mouth, and jumps on the Apatosaurus. The Apatosaurus is huge, between 75 and 85 feet long. The Apatosaurus can defend itself well. It waits for the Allosaurus to make another charge. It turns its body, sets its forelegs, and whips its tail. Whack! The tail hits the Allosaurus across the neck and knocks the wind out of it. Another tail shot, whoosh, whack. That tail is huge. The Allosaurus neck is broken. The Apatosaurus wins. Apatosaurus is the victor despite a small head and small brain. Fact, dinosaur footprints are also known as trackways. On we go to the second round. Only eight dinosaurs are left. In this round two matchup, we've got the Kentrosaurus versus the Ankylosaurus. This is match number one, round two. Kentrosaurus was armored with sharp weapons. It looked like he could inflict pain if attacked. Kentrosaurus did not look cute and huggable at all. Ankylosaurus defensively armored and plated for protection. Its body was low to the ground and difficult to attack. It looked like a tank. It even had horns covering its neck. Fact. Ankylosaurus was twice as big as the Kentrosaurus. Name fact. A scientist that studies fossils and prehistoric life is called a paleontologist. Three, two, one, fight. Both of these dinosaurs were herbivores. These two don't eat each other, so why would they fight? They might battle over territory, plants to eat, or water to drink. The smaller Kentrosaurus hits the Ankylosaurus with its tail. Its tail bounces off the Ankylosaurus's armor. Ankylosaurus gets close, swings its hammer-like tail, and breaks Kentrosaurus's leg bones. Whack! Whack! Kentrosaurus falls over. Ankylosaurus wins. Ankylosaurus moves on to what we'll call the Dino Final Four. Cool! Timeline. In geological time, the Jurassic period began around 200 million years ago. Round two, match two. Giganotosaurus versus Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a fight that fans have been waiting for Giganotosaurus was bigger than T-Rex. They both had similar body design. Giganotosaurus had a huge jaw and strong legs. Fact, Giganotosaurus had three fingers on each short arm. T-Rex had an advantage. Its jaw was much more powerful. Maybe T-Rex was like an orca, also called a killer whale, a perfect hunting machine. Foot fact. T-Rex had four toes, just like a chicken. Three in the front and one in the back. Three, two, one, fight! Giganotosaurus walks over to T-Rex. It's not used to being in an equal fight. T-Rex pretends to bite, but swings its body and whips Giganotosaurus with its heavy tail. T-Rex attacks and gives Giganotosaurus something it didn't expect, a hip check. 
Giganotosaurus is off balance. T-Rex bites. Giganotosaurus is next. T-Rex doesn't let go. Tyrannosaurus Rex wins. <laughs> Round two, match three. The Yang Chow Nosaurus versus Supersaurus. Once again, we have a meat eater against a plant eater. We could also describe this fight as carnivore versus herbivore, enormous mouth versus small mouth, two legs versus four legs, hunter versus forager. Did you know Yang Chow Nosaurus weighed about three tons? Supersaurus was one of the largest animals that ever walked on land. It weighed up to 40 tons. Its tail was up to 40 feet long. Its neck was longer than its tail. Other huge sauropods, Ultrasaurus, Giganotosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Argentinosaurus, or Diplodocus could have been in this book. How could they fight an aggressive sharp-toothed meat eater? Their size and height were great advantages. Three, two, one, fight! As Yang Chownosaurus leaps and tries to bite chunks out of its foe, Supersaurus just trots towards Yang Chownosaurus and gets ready to step on it. 40 tons is a lot of weight. Supersaurus' body is high in the air, hard for Yang Chownosaurus to reach. Supersaurus bumps the smaller dinosaur with its long neck, then rises up on its hind leg and crushes Yang Chownosaurus with its feet. Yang Chownosaurus has broken ribs and a broken leg. Goodbye, Yang Chownosaurus. Supersaurus wins! Supersaurus is the third dinosaur to get in the Dino Final Four. Timeline. The Jurassic period began about 250 million years ago. Round two, match four. The Apatosaurus versus the Spinosaurus. Apatosaurus was a huge dinosaur. It ate up to 800 pounds of vegetation per day. It was up to 75 feet long. Scientists say it kept growing and growing. Spinosaurus can send shivers down your spine. It is fast, long, and has a strong jaw with scary teeth. It is bigger than a T-Rex, but first it must defeat the Apatosaurus. Did you know Spinosaurus may have fought ancient crocodiles? What? Three, two, one, fight! Spinosaurus walks near Apatosaurus, but stays out of range of its swinging head and whip-like tail. When Apatosaurus turns its head, Spinosaurus jumps up and rips a chunk out of its shoulder. Apatosaurus' shoulder starts bleeding. Spinosaurus runs to the other side and bites again. Spinosaurus wins! Championship match is coming soon! This is the Dino Final Four. Round three, match number one. Ankylosaurus versus Tyrannosaurus Rex. This rugged plant eater can smell the T-Rex. It knows the T-Rex is a troublemaker. Armor fact, Ankylosaurus armor was on top. Not much was on its underbelly though. When it was younger, T-Rex got whacked by an Ankylosaurus tail. It hasn't forgotten the painful bump it got on its head. Three, two, one, fight! T-Rex runs full speed with its head down. Smash! The T-Rex knows the Ankylosaurus' armor is too thick to bite. T-Rex needs to flip it over so he can bite its softer belly. Ankylosaurus is now helpless on its back. T-Rex takes a giant bite and moves on to the championship match. T-Rex wins! Fossil fact. A dinosaur hunter named Barnum Brown found the first Ankylosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex fossil. Round three, match two, Supersaurus versus Spinosaurus. It sounds like thunder as Supersaurus approaches Spinosaurus. Boom, 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 go its feet. Three, two, one, fight. Spinosaurus is fast. It runs at Supersaurus and attacks it between its front and back legs. Spinosaurus 
Spinosaurus has plenty of energy. It bites and backs off, then bites and backs off again. Spinosaurus avoids Supersaurus' huge tail and long neck. It takes time, but the Supersaurus loses too much blood and eventually collapses. Spinosaurus wins. On to the final. Championship match. Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Spinosaurus. The long necks are gone. The armored dinosaurs are gone. The plant eaters are gone. The spiked dinosaurs are gone. The plated dinosaurs are gone. This is the fight that readers and dinosaurs have been waiting for. Jaw versus jaw. T-Rex has a stronger and wider jaw. Spinosaurus is longer but thinner. Spinosaurus also has a longer jaw. Both dinosaurs have a mouth full of sharp teeth. Three, two, one, fight! T-Rex charges, but quicker, Spinosaurus jumps out of the way. Spinosaurus runs head first and bites T-Rex's jaw. Spinosaurus's biting muscles are way stronger than the muscle T-Rex uses to open its mouth. Spinosaurus bites harder and deeper. Now T-Rex can't bite back. Spinosaurus holds on. It uses its long arms to scratch T-Rex. T-Rex loses. Spinosaurus wins. This is one way the competition might have ended. Write your own ending in the comments and think if there's a new version of the Ultimate Rumble book. So thanks for watching this cool video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cool dinosaur books from Rex Reads.